Hey there, I'm Ian Baker, and today I'm going to talk about ACDC. Unfortunately, not the rock band that got its start in the mid 70s, but instead the electrical current abbreviations from which the high energy rock band's name was derived. Let's start with DC, which stands for direct current. Direct current is commonly found in an automobile, cordless tools, handheld toys, essentially almost everything that contains a battery as the battery stores direct current power. DC is also the main source of power in an RV if you plan on camping off grid. RVs use direct current that is standardized at 12 volts. Lights, a power awning, and any electric jacks on the RV all run on DC. In your RV, it's also good to understand that DC only flows in one direction and is always seeking a ground source. In fact, it requires one to function. A good real life example of this is if you have an automobile with dim lights. It's usually a ground issue as it's not getting a good connection. If you clean the ground and reattach it, you'll see a drastic increase in the brightness of the lights as it's now fully completing the circuit and allowing the current to flow without inhibition. Now that we've covered DC, let's talk AC power. AC, or alternating current for an RV, is 120 volts. This is used to power some of the appliances in an RV as well as Edison plugs in most cases. Alternating current is named so because the current pulses or alternates direction. All right. Time for a quick history lesson. Physicist Michael Faraday discovered that changing a magnetic field induces an electric current. This is actually the basics of a generator. This would give off pulses, and these pulses were eventually named after German physicist Heinrich Hertz as an honorarium. Hertz was brilliant, but believed that pulsing waves, like radio waves, would never be of practical value for our society. <laughs> boy oh boy was he wrong. The North American standard of Hertz goes back to Nikola Tesla, who engineered the first electric power station at Niagara Falls. Tesla discovered that 60 Hertz was the most efficient frequency for energy distribution along power lines. History lesson aside, why is it important to understand the difference between AC and DC current? Well, it can be quite important when it comes to troubleshooting. You see, some appliances in an RV require both AC and DC power to function. Let's take some water heaters, for example. You need AC to power the heating element, however, you also need DC for the circuit board to open and close the element relay. Same for some air conditioner units. You need AC power to run the head unit, but if it has a separate wall-mounted thermostat, you'll need direct current as well. Understanding the differences between AC and DC will not only help give you a better basic understanding of electric current, but it will also aid you in troubleshooting issues on an RV.